Welcome. Today, we'll be going through question one from the International Jalta Cup Olympiad 2010. Find all primes P and Q such that P cubed minus Q to the power of seven is equal to P minus Q. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one, try rewriting the equation to P cubed minus P equal to Q to the power of seven minus Q and then factorize. Hint number two, P cubed minus P equal to Q to the power of seven minus Q can be rewritten or factorized as P multiplied by P squared minus one equal to Q multiplied by Q to the power of six minus one. What's special about P squared minus one? And another question, why does the fact that P and Q are prime simplify the problem? What are the common factors of P and Q? Hint number three. Modular arithmetic is very useful for these type of problems. And hint number four, consider P squared minus one in modulo three, either maybe use the Fermat's little theorem or just look at quadratic residues in modulo three. Solution. Let's rewrite the initial equation to p cubed minus p equal to q to the power of seven minus q and factorize to get p multiplied by p squared minus one equal to q multiplied by q to the power of six minus one. Now, considering p squared minus one and the fact that p squared is congruent to one or zero modulo three, either by looking at quadratic residues or using Fermat's little theorem, we see that either P is a multiple of three, and so three, because it's prime, or P squared is equal to one modulo three, so P squared minus one is a multiple of three. We have two possibilities, and we will look at both of them in turn. So first we'll look at when P equals three. Then the left hand side is equal to three multiplied by eight. And either Q is two or Q is three because the prime factors of the left hand side are two and three. Substituting these values into the equation, we get three cubed minus three to the power of seven equal to zero, which we know is false because it's negative. And the second one is three cubed minus two to the power of seven, which again is a lot less than one. So also false. And so there are no solutions when P equals three. We'll now move on to the second case when P squared minus one is a multiple of three. Now because P and Q are prime, they are also co-prime. And so they cannot have a common factor other than one and so Q cannot be a factor of P, and so it must be a factor of P squared minus one, which implies that Q is three, because that's the only possible value of Q, which is a multiple of three. We then have Q multiplied by Q to the power of six minus one, equal to three multiplied by 728, which is equal to three multiplied by eight, multiplied by seven, multiplied by 13. And so because P is prime, P is one of two, three, seven, or 13. We will first look at when P equals 13. Then P multiplied by P squared minus one is equal to 13 multiplied by 168, which we can check is equal to three multiplied by eight multiplied by seven multiplied by 13. And so is equal to Q multiplied by Q to the power of six minus one. So, P Q equal to 13, three is a possible solution. However, we can check that all the other values for P are too small. And so 
that is indeed the only solution. P, Q equal to 13, 3. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below and see you next time.